essentially it's supposed to be this tourist hub uh, where lots of people go and there's lots of amusement parks and things like that. According to Google, that's what it should be. That's what it's named. But when we got there, I don't know if it's because we were in low season or something, but it was pretty much abandoned. You know, the, the shops were closed on the side. The only place that would sell food near our hotel was the actual ferry port. And I thought that was very strange. You know, we went in there, we tried to get some sweets or something, and the security guards were just looking at us very strangely, like we shouldn't be there. Um, we then tried to walk into another shop and like, I don't know what was going on, it was just this bar, but then inside was some sort of weird convention and the security guards were shouting at us to get out as if we shouldn't have even like opened the door to see what was in there. It was just a bar, you know, labeled on the outside. So a few strange things happened, but then the, the weirdest thing of all was we went to this sort of dolphin park. It was, we didn't even know it was a dolphin park at first. We thought it was just this amusement park, like a, like a theme park sort of thing. It was right outside our hotel, um, right next to the beach, but it was completely abandoned and we got sold these tickets and when we went in there, we realized there was nobody else there. It was getting dark, the sun was setting, the rides were all lit up, but there was nobody operating them. And the, there was only one member of staff who was the one selling us the ticket at the gate. And she sort of looked at us as if, as if to say, what's wrong with you, you know, it's open, go in. But there, there was like roller coasters with nobody operating them, not moving, but they were still lit up. There was like abandoned ball pit parks and strange things. And then as we went up to the top of the hill, it gets even weirder because there's this huge overgrown outdoor stadium with like rusted seats and plants growing in and out of the seats and everything. And with a bit of research, I, f I discovered that this was actually a, it used to be a huge tourist hub where they would have like alligator shows and really interesting outdoor performances and stuff. And it's just now abandoned, but it's still part of the theme park. They still let you go up there for some reason. And I don't know, we, we got to the top and we heard these like weird animal noises and howling and stuff. We just got a bit freaked out, we went back down. But then we realised that we'd actually been locked in. And for some reason they had closed and locked the gates behind us. Um, I don't know, I can't remember if I filmed any, any of that, but... Very weird experience, very strange place. And, you know, according to the, the reviews, it used to be a really big tourist hub and, and there was stuff going on there. I think there is still things happening there and maybe we just got unlucky and, you know, there was a shortage of staff and they happened to lock the gates behind us and they also happened to let us into the theme park where nothing was open or running. Very strange experience. Anyway, either way, we didn't go to the Dolphin Show in the end, we just went back. If any of you know what happened to that resort or like what the story is behind uh, La Paz and Tuan Chao Island, I'd be very interested to hear it because I couldn't work it out and I couldn't find anything about it online. I just had to share this kind of weird travel experience with you guys.